Hey what's up it's Luca and welcome to this vlog of May 3rd. I have to say I had quite a stressful evening yesterday and also this morning was just uh, so chaotic. Basically I finished editing the video from yesterday and I was just gonna export it but then the program crashed and like my 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 thing was gone and i tried everything i installed as many updates as i could and you know restarted my computer and all that stuff that people normally tell you to do and then i was just like okay fuck it i'm gonna do a complete update like my ios that i haven't updated in ages that was taking ages and i was gonna go to sleep so i just let that install overnight but then this morning nothing was working again so great stuff but would you look at that it's exporting yes thank you I have no idea how I did it at some point it was just working again even though I was basically trying the same old stupid things all over again anyways I'm very happy about it Sunday can start now thank you few inches later if anyone's curious this is how far I have run. it's actually the furthest I've run in my whole life so please be proud of me thank you Cool, so the Sunday kind of went by. It was, it, was, it was a pretty good day, I would say. It didn't start off too well because I had all these computer problems, but that, I got that sorted out and then, yeah, it was nice. And I didn't really vlog anything because I was spending time with a friend and I feel like, uh, no, it's, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be answering some journaling prompts now that nobody asked for, but here you go anyways, yay. Whew, yeah. Let's go. I just had a quick look. I just googled journaling prompts, but basically they're all very serious and like deep, deep, deep questions. And maybe we'll get to them, but I feel like emotionally I'm not ready for them right now. It's Sunday, I just wanna chill. Then I changed my search query into fun journaling prompts. And I found these like, three things, name three things, and we're just gonna go through them now and answer them um, because I think they're fun. They're lighthearted and perfect for a Sunday. Three things that you can't go without. My glasses, to be honest, I just don't like wearing them in videos because um, sometimes the light reflects in them and then it just looks really bad. Gotta be honest, probably my phone. I don't wanna say my computer because that's lame and boring. Maybe my camera, yeah. Number three is my camera. Three celebrity crushes. This is gonna be very embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, Harry Styles. <laughs> this is hard because so many people come to my mind right now and I don't want to like miss out on anyone. The girl from Atypical, I have no idea what her name is. Maybe you can enlighten me. Just gotta put that out there. My all time like celebrity crush is Zac Efron, but I feel like when he was younger, not anymore. Sorry, Zach, I still love you. I just don't like, I don't keep up to date with the celebrity stuff anymore. Three favorite book characters. Everybody from Harry Potter, basically. And here I thought these questions were in deep. Like, this is such a hard choice to make. I, I literally, I have to get back to you on that one. This is a choice that I'm not willing to make in like five seconds. Three favorite things to wear. Well, right now, definitely this hoodie. Also really like wearing shorts at the moment because the weather is nice. And maybe just a plain white t-shirt. I'm basic, yeah. Three things you want in a relationship. Definitely fun, trust is important, and then I guess support or like understanding, I don't know. <laughs> if you had to evacuate your home because of a natural disaster, what three things would you take with you? I love that question. This is super basic again, but definitely my camera, my phone and my computer because these are the most expensive things I have. Three pet peeves. Just people who are unreliable. That, that just plain sucks. The rest I don't really care to be honest. Oh never mind, I got something. Pedestrians who like walk on the cycle path without looking and then even when they see you they don't move, they just stand in the way. I guess that's not really a pet peeve but that just came to my mind. Three things you'd do if you weren't so afraid. I don't know, maybe not look for a job after I graduate but pursue a career as a creative 
person somehow. Maybe skydiving, but actually I would totally do that if it didn't cost so much money. <laughs> when I have a crush on someone or I admire something, like I want something from someone <laughs> and um, yeah, just tell them, be more direct about it. Three favorite TV shows. I'm sorry for being so basic again, but probably Friends and Gossip Girl. <laughs> And this is not my favorite show, I guess, but last week on Netflix I watched Never Have I Ever. I think that's what it's called. It was really funny. And that's all the questions for today. Thanks for not asking me. I hope you enjoyed my answers anyways, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, video in general. And I hope you will subscribe to this YouTube channel right now. And you know, like and comment and just spread the word that I'm that I'm here. Okay, bye, have a good day. Drum on